Hello everyone, I'm Phyllis. Finally, I've got around to making this video. I'm going to show you how to uh, insert text into an image with a transparent background so that it doesn't show with like a big white blob on whatever you're trying to do. And we're going to be using Microsoft Word. Like everything else in life, it's easy once you know how. So let's get started. The very first thing you're going to want to do is to bring your picture into Microsoft Word. Go to Insert, which is just here, the little tab Insert, and Picture, Picture. Let's bring in this two-up picture that I have, Insert. Now we have it in here, and at the top of the page you'll see that there's a Format tab but there's also the Insert tab. You need to have the Insert tab selected as well as the Format tab. And then you'll get the text box. Click on Text box. We're going to insert a simple text box. It comes up with all kinds of words on it. Don't worry about it. They'll go very shortly. Very important. Go up here to Shape Fill. Press the down arrow no fill. That will give you a transparent background. But there's now there's still this black outline to the text box. Go to Shape Outline. Click No Outline. Everything now that you type into this box will be on a transparent background. So let's start typing and the rest of it will go. I think we're going to put Table Number Four, maybe Doug and Jean. Now, how about I type correctly? Doug and Jean. Well, obviously, those little words are too small, and the text box is in entirely the wrong place. So first of all, let's move the box to where it should be. Wait until the crossed arrows come up. Do you see them here, right at the corner? Crossed arrows. That allows you to drag the box. You must see them. There we go. No, we don't. Try again. drag the box. And I'm going to put it here. It's still not the correct size though. You should approximately get the box to be the size where you would want the text to go. So let's take this one up. These are the bounding box on the edges are for you to move it. Bring that in there and to the left there. Well, everything else that you put in here now will go according to your experience that you have with Word. So for me, we would highlight the text. I would like to change it to something else. Of course, you've got all the Word art styles here. You could do, you could also do go back to home and change the actual font to whatever font you have on yours and change the sizing. Make it mm, 24 seems good. I think we should have it central. And we'll change the color of the font. Everything that I'm doing now is just standard word uh, theory. Whatever you do for word. So I think the color could be something in that nature. Click off. There you have. You have made an editable image into exactly the way you want it. Do that for every place that you have. Now you could also you can also put words onto a photograph. If you have a photograph and you'd like to identify it, let's go back to insert picture. This time we'll pick up this particular picture which I like and insert that. I would like now remember even though we're on format we want to have the insert tab showing at the top. We're going to insert a text box, simple text box. We can now make sure there is no fill, no fill, and that there is no outline here, shape outline at the top here, no outline. Start to type. This I think is a beautiful church. 
Oh, one day I'm going to take typing lessons in Finland. Very nice, but let's make it a little bit larger. I'm thinking maybe that one seems pretty good to me. Make the text. Oh, perhaps, perhaps. And the color of the text, I don't know, I think that color would look nice. Well, again, we're going to have to move this box, so put it over there, click off. You have now named a photograph with anything you want. Beautiful church in Finland. One more thing before we go, one last. Often you'll go, especially from my site at art to art on Etsy, you'll get these little tiny round one inches. And you need to put something in yourself. So let's first of all insert the picture that I'm talking about. These are the clear editable cir circles that I sell. Insert that. Same theory, everything the same. Go to insert. Insert text box, simple text box, shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline. And we're going to probably, in this case, I think we should take the size down to approximately the right size. And yes, we'll try and move it. This is going to be. There we go. I think we need to have that a little smaller. It's, there's just a certain amount of space here. Okay. Now, you also the arrow keys on your will move there to the left, to the top, and down. Bear that in mind. I'm now going to type the name Mary. Highlight it as one would. Go to home. Choose a different font. I'll choose that one. I'd like it to be a bit larger. I like wood. You can see almost how much it would take. If you need it a bit larger, make the box a little larger. And that will work too. Highlight the name. Change the font color. I think that color looks good. Click off. You've now named one. Do that with all of the ones that you want to rename. Make as many as you wish. You no longer have to worry about how and when and what. So thank you very much for listening and looking. And we'll meet again sometime later. Goodbye.